Hello my lovelies, it's Madeline again and I have another bit of an impromptu video for you today. I know I just did one yesterday but I've kind of been inspired to do something today and I will tell you why now. Yesterday I posted a what I eat in a day video and it was pretty healthy, pretty whole foods based which is what I usually try to do when I'm filming a what I eat in a day video. Um, I think part of me is a little bit afraid of criticism for not eating plant-based whole foods on YouTube when I put up a video like that. Um, but you know what, that's really, that shouldn't be an issue at all. At the end of the day, I am an ethical vegan. I did not go vegan for health reasons. And if you're an ethical vegan, you're literally just doing your own thing. You're, you're doing your best to not support the cruelty in the meat, dairy and egg industry. So you can pretty much eat whatever you want as long as it's not an animal product. And I was feeling a bit more junk foody today, vegan junk foody today. And I normally wouldn't, you know, film that, but why not? Why not share that? I don't see any reason that I should feel like I should hide that because, you know, vegans are meant to be super healthy, super whole foody. No, you can eat however you want as a vegan as long as none of it comes from animal products. That's it. I guess I've just been inspired by a few videos that I've seen. There was a fantastic one from Cosmic Colette today um, where she kind of, you know, talked a little bit about the same thing as I'm talking about really, that you don't have to be a whole foods plant-based eater if you're a vegan. There's so much more. I mean, obviously whole foods are the best for your health, but they're not all you're limited to as a vegan. So if you're feeling having a bit of vegan junk food, have it. You know, there's there's no problem with it. There should be no issue with anybody who doesn't stick to that way of eating all the time. I mean, people are very quick to, you know, criticise vegan junk food or jump on, you know, fat vegans who don't, you know, epitomise the, the lean, healthy, kind of freely the banana girl image but there's, there's nothing wrong with that. You can eat however you want to as a vegan. Really, the options are endless. So that's why I've decided that I'm gonna, you know, show a bit of vegan junk food today because that's what I feel like eating. So why not share that with you? There's, there's no reason not to. So yeah, here we go. I'm gonna do a breakfast burrito recipe video because I have some vegan eggs um, which are a little bit controversial. It's like a powder and you mix it up with water and you chuck it in a pan and it turns out kind of like scrambled eggs. It's a little bit weird, a little bit freaky, but it tastes amazing. So I have tried out making breakfast burritos with them before and they turned out so good. So I decided that I would share that recipe with you today. So let's go. First things first, our vegan eggs need ice cold water, so I just filled up a little bottle, popped that in the freezer while I was prepping the other ingredients. Now these ingredients are not the be all and end all of what you need to make a vegan breakfast burrito. This is just what I want to use. You can sub in whatever else you like. I use one potato per person, some vegan sausages, these ones were from Ethica, some vegan cheese, I love the Via Life pizza cheese because it melts really really well. Then I use refined beans here, but you can use any kind of bean with a sort of Mexican feel to it. And then here are our very cool vegan eggs from Follow Your Heart. You can find them in most health food shops. A little bit pricey so I would personally only buy them for a treat. So first of all we chop up our potatoes and we're going to boil them up for about five minutes before we bake them in the oven. And while those are boiling, we can have a look at our sausages. These Ethica ones are actually made most of potato, which is pretty interesting. So we fry them up in just a little bit of water so they don't stick and set them aside. Now onto our fried beans. Personally, I've always thought these look like cat food, but they taste really good. I flavored them with a little bit of cayenne pepper and some herby salt. And now our potatoes are ready to chuck in the oven for about 10, 15 minutes. So onto the vegan egg. This is what the powder looks like and you use two tablespoons per person. This was a serving for two, so I have four in here, and this is what it looks like. Now we're adding our ice water and whisking it up till there's no lumps left. So just a little bit of oil in a frying pan and chuck it in. It should sizzle as soon as it hits the pan. 
and then you just whisk it up like regular scrambled eggs and it will start to scramble like magic. So while that's cooking, you can prepare your cheese, you can grate it, whatever you like. I prefer to slice it into strips and then it's time to assemble. So cheese first, then refried beans. Then I put on my potato chunks which are baked now. Then my sausages and finally the vegan egg. I'm gonna roll that sucker up, put it in tin foil and pop it in the oven for about 10 minutes to get the cheese to melt. And there you have it, vegan breakfast burritos. So good, but I have yet to figure out a way to eat them in a ladylike fashion.